goods. They're probably 10 years away from being over 95% robot, but once they get to that point, they can launch military robot attacks, drone attacks in the air, land, sea. Humans will no longer be needed, and the global elite have openly written in public white papers they plan to exterminate us as soon as this project is complete, and they will use the robotic system and, and the robotic weather control system to totally shut off human life, even if it takes killing the surface of the earth. The globalists will then retreat to their bunkers, reemerge with the seed vaults, and repopulate the earth in the new Eden uh, they are uh, trying to set up. They believe that they are playing God. They believe that they are better than us. They believe that we are their slaves. They believe we're going to buy into the false reality makers and the, and the TV and, and, and the, the, the trance and that we're done. We're defeated. They think we're like a shark they've gotten on the deck of the boat. We can still flop around and get back in the water. But you've got to wake up and realize you're being gaff hooked by the New World Order. If you don't do that, there's no hope. We're wounded, but we're not dead. We can survive. We get back in the water of reality. But they've got us up here in this false reality. We're dying. We're gasping for air. They think it's funny. John in Hawaii, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. Hey, buddy. Aloha. Aloha. How you doing? God bless you, man. I've been, I have woke up back in 1970 through the writings of Harry Lobel coming out of Acres USA. And I've been uh, trying to grow all my own food since then. None of my kids. They're over, I got one kid over 30 now, hasn't never been vaccinated, the healthiest kid in her school. I, I can go into that story with anybody that wants to hear about that, but that's ridiculous. It's just absolutely amazing. I think we've really seen a turnaround right now uh, when I talk to people because I really think these food-like substances that they've got in the stores now, which are basically just repackaged concentration camp, World War II concentration camp chemicals, have uh, literally brain-dead most of the people around me here in Hawaii. It's unbelievable. Uh, when you realize the amount of pesticides that are put out per square foot, pesticides developed as war weapons, weapons of war by the Japanese. We've got people uh, with fluoride mouthwashes. They've just lost it completely. Uh, but what I really want to talk about is to tell people that they can grow their own food, and it's really the only thing we've got responsibility over is what we put in our mouths, and it's really important. Here's an example. Understand. Here's an example. It's now been declassified. You can just type this in. You'll get the documents online, and the government admits it. They didn't just spray Agent Orange or Agent White for five years or so all over uh, Vietnam and Cambodia and Laos. They were spraying synthetic neurotoxin or cobra venom on the Vietnamese, including our troops. So th that's another, I mean, again, they see us as bugs. I'm sorry, sir, go ahead. No, you're absolutely, absolutely right, and I'm seeing that in Hawaii with the way people use Roundup over here, and we're seeing this, this whole new wave of organisms now. I think a lot of this thing with food safety, with E. coli, Roundup kills all the beneficial bacteria in, in the soil and leaves open all these pathogens. And so when they come in with these food safety things, which are now trying to shut down all the farms here in Hawaii, it's really a, a, a reaction to the chemicals that they've been spraying on us. And we're, we're all subsidizing these people. As an organic farmer, we're seeing so much more uh, funguses and diseases, and it's m much more difficult to grow the easiest crops in the world over here now because our neighbors want to spray Roundup, and every dime he makes, he's causing uh, you know a, a, a twelve, fifteen cents worth of damage that we're all subsidizing. Well, that's so right, and that. and and it all runs off, and now there's giant red tides all over the world ruining the beach areas, but they don't care if TSA grabbing your genitals st stops forty billion a year, and people don't come to the U.S. Uh, again, it's all about destroying everything, and I've seen reports confirmed in Latin America where they're spraying these chemicals all around people's property that hasn't been sold, and the, and the whole families are just dying. Birth defects, everything, we're, we're all just being murdered, and the environmentalists don't care, though. They just want to pay Al Gore some money for carbon dioxide that plants breathe. If, if we could just get that nasty carbon dioxide, and, 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 and the big environmental groups are, spray aluminum, spray sulfur, spray, spray barium, yay, the soils are dying, it's liberal, yay! out of uh, Inconvenient Truth.
all my uh, friends were going, oh, wow, that was amazing. I walked out seething because he, he denied the reality. Well, first of all, he, he flipped all the graphs. I've been into this global warming thing back since 1970, uh, CO2 buildup and stuff like that. And when you look at what he was talking about, he didn't take into account the huge sink that the ocean is uh, holding the carbon dioxide or even the interplay of uh, soil CO2 and the importance of soil or organic matter. And, and the lies are just clear. I, I helped put on some of the first Earth Days back in uh, 1970 in uh, L.A., and uh, we were inundated with these corporate guys trying to take it over. I abandoned the movement back in 71, 72, when the environmental movement really, to me, was completely taken over by corporate interests who really wanted to deny the reality of what they were doing to us, which was basically poisoning and destroying us and everything else and trying to make people focus on, on ridiculous matters. And especially now, we've now demonized the sun. We've now demonized CO2, which are basically the two out of the three, you know, oxygen, water, sun, and carbon dioxide, that makes life. So they basically demonized, you know, basically the building box of life. This is definitely satanic. You're absolutely on target, Alex. I'm so glad that you're on the air talking about all these things. You know, it's, it's so important that people understand that it's, it's a full attack on us on every single level. Like here in Hawaii, they just tried to pass a building code, a United Nations building code, the United Nations, the new neo-colonial enterprise of the world uh, that basically allows the building department here to uh, deputize people to go out and arrest people that have uh, building code violations. And they want to put everybody in jail in Hawaii right now who have uh, a, even the slightest building code violation. You're, you're put into jail for 30 days. It's a completely new, just like they Oh, yeah, no, no. That's all, that's all Agenda 21, where, where the book is thrown at everybody, tattletales. The new economy is people can only make money tattling on neighbors, kids tattling on parents. I mean, it is, it is off the charts evil. I appreciate your call. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, just amazing points from there. My phone system went down for a minute. John, who's up next? Michael in Texas, you're on the air. Take us out to break. Hey, Alex, Mike up in Plano. Um, Alex, a couple things. Um, this model that you use where you're waking people up, I think a lot of your public maybe doesn't understand that um, this isn't just for entertainment purposes. This isn't for academic uh, purposes. This isn't a, 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 you know, a, a public service announcement. You're trying to duplicate yourself here. You can't do this alone. No matter how great and effective your system is, you're trying to wake people up so that they will become active in their community. Just like any uh, network marketing uh, model for, for business, this is what you're trying to do here. Well, you've done that for me. And uh, here in Plano, which, you know, right in the middle of Collin County, one of the highest per capita incomes in the country, you got a bunch of people who drive around in their Jags and their Bentleys, and they're not interested in what's going on in the world because it's pretty comfortable for them right now. Well, see, that's the joke. Right. They think a fancy car and a nice house is everything. When, the, when there's a scientific dictatorship, they're literally being phased into an artificial habitat. They're a joke. It's like the Truman Show. The elite are sitting there looking at them laughing that they think football and topless bars are the world when it has nothing to do with reality. I, I, I mean, do you get the point I'm making? So the, the menagerie, when the captain was stuck in that fake environment, that they could, they could make it look like anything he wanted it to. They could read his mind and make the world look any, any way he wanted, but he was still in a cage. And he, he was their prisoner, an animal that they, they controlled. And that's how the elite look at us. We're animals. We're a, we're a different creature ready to be slaughtered. And, and Alex, I know you're busy. you got a lot of people that you want to bring. No, I want to hear it. Here. Stay there. Stay there. We'll come back to you after the break. I mean, it's just so mind-blowing that we've gotten to this point. I mean, we have gotten so deep into this. None of this crud means anything. We'll be right back. With new it's really incredibly simple, but it's so simple it's hard for some people to get. The globalists issue the currency worldwide. They get the planet out of nothing. Six megabanks, a handful of families, through fraud. They've created a global national security world government corporate system. They do not just not have our best interest at heart. They hate us. And they have learned how to put out so many different hundreds of flavors of political ideas and bull 
some of it partially true, some of it mostly true, some of it completely false, to where when people actually hear folks like myself who've actually gone and read what the globalists write and say to each other and who actually know what's going on. I mean, you're actually hearing how things work here. You're actually hearing people that are dedicated to the truth and really research. I mean, grueling, busting our butts. You're, you're, you're listening to the real deal. And, and, and our accuracy is the proof of that. And that's not some, ooh, we're real smart and we've got all the answers thing. That's like, listen, the dam broke. I told you it's coming down the stream. Now it just flooded our houses and more is coming. We don't have time to play games. Even if we're conscious of these people, it's going to be hard to beat them. Okay? You've got to fully awaken from the matrix. And it's a psychological matrix, a spiritual matrix. It's not like we're actually in a tank, you know, it's some big computer hive. But they're trying to insert us into that. That's actually a Pentagon plan, one of their futurist uh, proposals. Is that they're going to merge with the machines and all this. They're setting it up. It's not pretty. It's not a nice place. What is this headline? Dangerous legislation prevents U.S. diplomatic contact with Iran. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah, there's no diplomatic discussions allowed. They're just going to go ahead with the attacks, I guess. All right, I, I said I'd get to your calls. Michael in Texas, finish up the point you were making. Well, a couple things, Alex. First of all, I was watching uh, Loose Change again. Every once in a while, I go back. You, you've looked at my pictures before on Facebook. Another time I called in, I'm that telecom engineer that was uh, down at 9-11, and I got a picture of me standing on this pile of rubble. And I, that's why I'm so fascinated with when Dr. Stephen Jones from BYU was talking about the ingredients in nanothermite. Now, listen to this. Tell me if I'm crazy or not. But the ingredients that he says can hype up and make more powerful and more um, active are the same chemicals, the same metals that they're putting in these chemtrails that they're spraying on us. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, this obsession that these people have with exploding the atmosphere and all these fires, these forest fires that don't seem to be able to got, get in, uh, under control. No, I'm you're right. Uh, Sulfur is very explosive. And that is what they use to supercharge and barium salt, the uh, nanothermite to make it super nanothermite. Uh, look, point is, this planet is run by psychopathic scientists. But now I understand why every comic book, every movie, every sci-fi game is all about mad scientists wanting to become God. What is the system telling us there? In the real world, that's what they're doing. You know, when I was a kid and read uh, War of the Worlds, and, and listen to the old famous broadcast, I thought it was just a science fiction writer. No, H.G. Wells was a top globalist who admitted uh, that he was, uh, and, you know, Rhodes Scholar, all that stuff. And he said in a bunch of nonfiction books, this is what we're actually going to do. Uh, I mean, it's incredible. It, by 1900, he wrote books about atomic bombs dropped by a global government on countries that wouldn't join it. And now they would kill most of the population uh, for the betterment of the earth. I mean, he wrote the book, The New World Order. I mean, it is just mind-blowing that what scientists came up with 160 years ago was sold and bought by British royalty, European 